This video tutorial is on the use of markers. And the markers are these inverted blue triangles that you find at the top of the waveform file. And there are just a couple of things to note about them. First of all, you set these markers either visually by looking at the waveform file and then clicking in this space above the waveform file with your left mouse button. And when you do that, you can see it set a marker as it has just done here. Um, the other way to set them is by listening and then as the song is playing and you reach a point in a song that you'd like to insert a marker, you simply um, click this button here at the top which says marker and what I've done here is just move the progress indicator which is this white mark um, here so if, if the file were playing and we clicked the marker button and this was the location of the progress indicator, it would insert a marker right above that. And as you can see, that's indeed what it has done. So those are the two ways to set markers. The other thing to know about markers is that you can um, change the names. They are going to be sequentially set M1, M2, M3, M4, etc. But if you want to change them to C-sharp or B-flat or beginning or and or whatever you like to, you simply hover your mouse over it, you right-click, and it gives you the option of either editing or deleting. Obviously, if you select Delete, it goes away as that one just did. If you select edit, it opens it up and it allows you to do two things here. You can either change the position by simply typing in the number of seconds um, and secondly you can change the name. In this case it's M2. Why don't we change it to start? And as you can see it has been changed to start. So these markers are really informational markers only. They are things that you can use to help annotate or to mark specific locations along the waveform file that are important for you. Uh, and that's essentially all that they do. That concludes this video tutorial.